Hello, this is Matthias. Today I'm going to talk about a running total problem from Bhavya Gupta. And every time you hear running total, you have to think about a solution with list generate because that's the best performing solution for running totals. I will use a ready-made custom function from Phil Tracy. And that means I don't have to build it myself, but I still have to adapt it to the specific problem. So what we have here is a list of numbers and next to it, there is a running total, which is reset at certain points. And this reset is defined by this condition, less than or equal to 10,000. That means for that first group here, it's going up until almost 10,000. And in the row below, where the running total would be above 10,000, we take the value from the list of numbers here and take it over and start in a new group, the running total again. That's the first one. And then there is a second one. There's a count next to it, uh, this count. How would it look? A running count would start here with a one, go up in steps of one, and at the same row, there would be a reset to one, and then it would count up again in steps of one. The last condition is this one here adjacent to the last number in the group. Well, means that all these numbers here are not shown. Only in the last row of the group, we put the count. Another way to identify this group is to go from the reset row and go to the row above. That's the way we will do it. And now let's come here. I have already changed this to a table with control T. So I'll go to the data tab and import with from table range to the power query editor. And this will be the input for our custom function and the custom function itself we will build with new query other sources all the way down to blank query and then in the advanced editor i will replace this code with the function that's a simple copy paste and now we have to adapt so first line is the definition of the parameters. So values will be the column numbers from this query. And this grouping here in a standard grouped running total would be a different column used for the grouping. For example, um, plant names, product names, customer names, but we don't have anything like this here. So I'll take this out. Then we come to the function itself. The step is called grouped running total list because we're building with a list generate a list of group running totals. So list generate has four parameters, initial, condition, next and an optional selector. Here we see all four, one, two, three, four, but we don't need all of them. We only need the first three. So initial, initial defines the starting values. We are starting here with the group running totals. The value is the first row of the list of numbers. First row, lists are zero base. That's why this is the first row. Then there is a counter. 
which is called i. i like integer, and the starting value is a zero. Then there is a condition defining how often we are looping through this process. How long are we repeating this list generating steps? This condition is easy as long as the counter is smaller than the number of rows. Then the next is a function which is defining the values of the next row of this list. In this case, it's a condition. And if that condition is met, we are adding to the previous grouped running total the value of the next row of the number list. And we are also adding to the previous value of the counter a 1. If the condition is not met, we are having a reset. We are only going for the value of the next row of the numbers list, but we still have to increase the counter by one. This is wrapped in try otherwise because at the end of the list, at the end of the table, there won't be any value any, any plus one row to, and that would cause an error. And to catch this error, we are just adding here a one to the counter. Then the optional selector is here because we don't want to show the counter. We only want to show the group running total. If we take the selector out, we would show each value which was defined. And in this case here, we only want to have the group running total, at least in the standard one. Now, the condition which we see above here, it's not possible, we don't have any grouping columns. So our condition is within the running total itself. And that was, if you remembered, smaller n equal, smaller or equal to 10,000. I have a missing bracket here. Didn't, yeah. So this is done for the first condition. I can now change the name of this for fx for function running total. I can now use this function within this query. I go for custom step using table from columns. Uh, we need to define as this the columns. That's the numbers. That's the column created from the custom function. So we call this custom function and I will bring in here list buffer equals you have 10,000, uh, let's say 100,000 or 200,000 rows, you need a list buffer to speed things up. So here, that's the same column. Now we only have to define oh, one more time. Um, define the names of the columns. First one was numbers. And the second one doesn't matter, but for the time being, I call it running total.
Yes, I need to spin an S here. And that looks good. Now, the two next conditions. So, okay, let's go back to the custom function and now to the advanced editor. Let's see. So, initial. We need a counter. This is the group counter now. I call it just C. And starting value will be a one. That makes sense. We want to start with one. We count from one. There. Only up is C equals previous value plus one. And reset is easy. We have a C equals one. And it's here. Just for testing, I go and take the C. You see, starting at one and going up to 14, then there is the reset. It's the same row as before. So that works great. And now the most tricky one. So we don't want to show this C all the time. We want to show it only in the case we are in the um, reset row. So initial value is a null. And let's bring this in here. So oh, it's group count equals try. Why try? Because same problem with the otherwise below. Last row, we have to deal with an error. Last row, there is no additional row to refer to. And so that's last row will be C. Good. Then the condition is similar to this one here, but we have to go for the row after, the reset row itself. So Let's do this once and expand it for the second row. So previous value plus next number plus the following number. If that's is bigger, that's uh, bigger. Oops. Ten thousand. Then it's C. Else it's null. Okay. Let me take out the selector and selection will be done within the query itself. Here we have a record of all entries. And I will select the ones we're interested in. Group running total, the group count, and no prefix. That looks good. It's exactly what we wanted. So I hope you learned something, you enjoyed it. Until the next time.